So a man walked in and uh, he didn't have a mask on. He was wearing uh, a MAGA hat, the Make America Great Again hat, and uh, a red jacket. And uh, so I asked him kindly if he could go get his mask or if he had a mask. And uh, he said he had an exemption. So I asked him if I could see the exemption just to make sure. And then he showed me his gun saying that that was his exemption. And then he cited some law that I can't remember now because I was too busy looking at his gun. Uh, and so I told him I need to go talk to my uh, owner. Then my owner talked, uh, yelled more so uh, with the uh, gentleman and uh, eventually he left. I just graduated high school. I'm working in a minimum wage job, but just to save up from college. And then I've got to tell this dude to wear a mask because that's what, you know, I'm required to do by law. And he's going to shoot me because of that. It just doesn't make sense to me. It's not, it's the cost benefit analysis is just not, you know, it doesn't work. <sighs> the whole thing went for like, I don't know, probably less than five minutes. So we didn't have any time to like, you know, call the cops and have them get here. I feel like, you know, he wasn't there to like, like shoot anybody. He was there to make a statement. When you involve a gun into it, um, when you're trying to make a statement with a gun, it doesn't become a statement. It turns into a threat. I felt like he was probably going to, like, his first reaction to having worn a mask was to shoot me. A 18-year-old just doing his job. 